Gilead thrives on innovation. There is a synergy between our scientific staff working in the labs and the environment in which they work, our buildings, the services we provide to them. We have the obligation to tap into that same excitement for innovation, that drive to innovate, come up with better ways to utilize the resources that we have and to provide better stewardship for the environment in which we operate. Similar to having passion for our patients, we have passion for our environment and we'd love to protect our natural resources for future generations. Every day in research and development, we work to maximize the efficacy of our medicines. We look to develop the lowest dose possible to effectively treat our patients. When needed, we'll implement novel technology to get more of the medicine on board. In the end, this means that we need to manufacture less medicine per year, and we reduce the amount of manufacturing waste and resources needed. Processes in chemistry are not super efficient, and so it's important for us to really think carefully about how do we maximize the product and minimize the waste. There's lots of ways to do this. You can increase the yield of the processes, you can recycle or recover the solvents you use, you can make choices to use greener solvents, to use different types of uh, chemistry, different types of reactions, different types of reagents that are, you know, more renewable or sustainable. My team and I oversee the hazardous waste program here at Foster City. We are a zero to landfill hazardous waste operation. And one of the things that we always consider when our site generates new hazardous waste or new profiles is can we find a more environmentally friendly way to dispose of this? During the past year we demolished four buildings on campus and by Carefully managing how we demolish those buildings, we're able to divert over 90% of the building debris. So approximately 13,500 tons of waste was avoided from the landfill. Gilead has grown. We're now at almost 9,000 employees. We've had to manage that growth responsibly. A lot of the programs and initiatives that have been rolled out are really great for employees as well. The employee transportation shuttle, for example, is not only great for our environment, it's great for our people. I have just relocated here for Gilead two years ago, and I was not used to this type of traffic. The bus allows me to get work done, and when I'm home, to not be worried about work and be present for the kids and um, have a good time in the evening with them. Gilead's approach to sustainability is much in line with the way it operates its business. We're not satisfied with just good enough. We're striving for excellence. The important part of sustainability is that it can't be done within just one group. So uh, we're building a team with facilities, we have the people doing the work, as well as engineering, all inputting to this group of people that are producing our new sustainability report. Without that buy-in from all those groups, we couldn't implement it and have it be effective. I think it ties in very nicely with our mission, our vision. Employees coming here with the expectation and the practice and the belief that this is something that they want to do not only in their personal life but also at their company. I enjoy coming to work thinking that I can actually change the future, uh, change the world in a little bit and, and be helpful. It's, uh, it's exciting.